What is good, YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Bobby back again, man. Now, in today's video, guys, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can get this mop looking like this. I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips about how I take care of my hair, what I use to stop my hair, and how to overall be confident with your hair. Let's get straight into the video. Now I know that this video is a little bit different of what you guys are used to on my channel. My channel is, or was more of a car channel, but I wanna start making it more of a lifestyle channel. And I'm kicking it off with this video, showing you guys how I take my hair that you see right now. This is my natural hair. I washed it a couple hours ago. As you can see, it looks kind of like, uh, it looks really messy, it doesn't look you know, like I fixed it. It looks like I just got out of bed, but literally I just got out of the shower. I didn't shampoo or condition it. Um, I literally just took a shower, wet it, and then I let it dry. And then this is what it looks like dry. I'm gonna be showing you guys the main three things that I used to take care of my hair and style it. But you can manage this look too. 2018, this is a very hot look. In the beginning of the year, I've seen a lot of people rocking this hair like this. Not really like this, but this hairstyle that I'm gonna teach you guys how to do. Uh, my parents, my dad has curly hair, my mom has curly hair, so I was blessed with a nice set of hair like this. All my brothers have curly hair. Now, as you guys can see, my curls or my hair is, um, it's not like real tight curls. I have like longer extended curls and my hair is pretty long right now. As you can see, it stretches below, it literally touches my upper lip um, and that's from the front. The back is not as long, but um, my goal right now is to grow my hair out as much as I can because I want to rock the uh, braided look. Not a lot of YouTubers, well at least I haven't seen too many YouTubers and fitness people. As you guys can see, I'm trying to stay in the gym and healthy. I haven't seen too many YouTubers rock this hairstyle, so I want to be the first one. As to what my haircut looks like, I haven't had a haircut in probably a week and a couple days. Um, so what I get is, is a, basically an undercut. I asked my barber for an undercut. I tell him to... Um, to do, you can't tell right now, but I tell them to do um, skin fade. It's like a skin fade. So this down here will usually be bald and it'll start fading up. And the same thing goes in the back. The back would be the same thing. I would ask him for a skin fade. So it starts like skin here and it starts fading up to the top. And then he stops right, you know, he stops right there. Um, and it looks dope. Like I said, it's been a while since I got a haircut, but maybe like a week and a few days. And uh, I don't rock the sideburns because I want to grow a beard, but it's taking a while. So what I do is I shave every day here. Um, so that's what I do for a haircut, guys. This hairstyle is going to help you more if you do grow your hair out a little bit. If you have curly hair, grow it out a little bit over time. And it, it would help you, you know, achieve this look easier if your hair is a little longer. Let's get into how I uh, take care of my hair and the steps that I uh, follow to maintain healthy curly hair. So guys, to be honest with you, I only wash my hair two to three times a week, maybe sometimes even one time a week. I go to the gym every day, so I do try to maintain my hair as clean as possible. I always rinse it out with some conditioner, but I only really shampoo it like twice, two to three times a week. And um, when I do shampoo it, I use uh, some coconut oil. You guys can use, <coughs> you guys can use pretty much any type of coconut oil that you can find out there. This is the one that I'm using right now. It seems to get the job done and the reason why I use this is because once I shampoo my hair and I condition it, what happens is I rinse it out of all the natural uh, nutrients that your hair grows and it, uh, the oils and stuff that your hair creates. So I always use a little bit of coconut oil to just maintain the nice shine that the natural oils provide uh, and it smells amazing. So when I shampoo and I condition my hair, I use a little bit of this. Uh, but that's only when I shampoo and condition it, which like I said, is two to three times a week. And then guys, what I use, once I get out of the shower and I put the coconut oil in, don't dry my hair. I like to keep it moist and wet with the coconut oil in it. I get nice and deep into the roots. And now when once that is done, what I'll do is, I use the Cantu. I know that this is a well-known product for people that have curly hair. Cantu makes one of the best stuff for your hair, especially for people with curly hair. So. Uh, this is for natural hair, coconut curling cream, um, and I use this every single day. Since my curls are not as tight as some some of your curls might be, uh, I sometimes use 
the flawless curls it's called flawless curls the reason why I like this one is because when it dries it doesn't make the hair hard um, it does help keep the curls tight um, and the reason why I use this like I said is because my curls are long I don't have like super tight curls like some of you guys may have my curls like they like to extend out so this stuff just makes the curls a little bit tighter and I only use this sometimes really depending on uh, I only use it when I'm gonna have a long day and I know I'm gonna be out of the house for the whole day so this helps maintain my hair curled throughout the entire day curls for the girls you already know boy <laughs> let's head into the bathroom guys we're gonna go wet this hair and I'll show you guys how I get those nice curls so let's get into the bathroom <laughs> This is what my hair looks like when it's wet. So now what I'll do is, once I get out of the shower, I'll take my fingers and I'll try to break up the curls as much as I can. Not really break up, but separate the curls and um, try to like divide them as much as I can with my fingers. So what I'll do is I'll just take my hands and I'll run them through my hair like this and I'll pull up. And you guys will see how it'll start creating more curls and really untangling the curls And it just helps you direct your hair where you want it. You don't want it to be falling from the sides like this. Now you want to grab your Cantu curling cream. You want to grab your Cantu curling cream. I don't like to use too much. I've seen other videos where people just dig their fingers in there and use a bunch. So I use about that much. Not really a lot. And you wanna just mix it all up into your hands, like this, nice and creamy. And then you're gonna just do the same thing. I like to start from the back, because for some reason my hair in the back is where it looks the most frizzy when it dries. So I like to start from the back, work my way to the front. Just really working that product into your hair, all the way into the roots. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like after that step. As you can see, the curls are tighter. It's not frizzy. Um, now what I'll do is, which is the easiest step, is let it air dry for about 30-40 minutes. And then once it's dried completely, it's completely dry, that's when I'll start really like shaping the curls and putting the curls where I want them to be. Because uh, sometimes I have like curls falling from the side, like the little Jewish curls, falling from the top to the sides like this, and I don't like that. Alrighty guys, so we let the hair dry and this is what the final product looks like. Well, technically before I started messing around with it. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. To all my car guys, please don't unsubscribe. I know it's not really a car video, but a lot of things are going to be coming for the channel in the future. And it's going to be car related and you guys don't want to miss it. Also, a lot of videos like this. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. So what are you about to do? I'm just gonna install these cannons real quick. We're gonna go fight some pirates. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> First you wanna put them on the racks. <laughs> That's what she said.